So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother, Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Gabe told me to meet him at the bridge. Just where you make your bed is 
Holy shit. That's really him. <laughs> oh. What's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. She's all grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alice just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Laith, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. That's the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find a prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for her angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? I would be clever. Telling the truth only gets you so far. Oh, you hear that, Gabe? You're outnumbered. I'll never surrender. He'll come around eventually. Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? 
sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? What uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around, maybe the toilet seat? <laughs> Go with the white bouquet. If you're trying to say sorry. That I am, and that I will. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of, more on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. Does anyone actually sit in the decorated store chair? How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen. ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. What if I don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Aw. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. What if I don't get in? Shit, what if I do get in? I hope Charlotte likes the lilies. The tiny house movement is really taking off. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh God, please stop. No problem. Hey, ladies, what are you drinking? <laughs> you can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? About three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Yep. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. Well, here we are. Wow. Good to know. 
I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. What did you think of the show? I... Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. Hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like zero bees. Yeah, that one was so good, but live is a whole nother thing, you know? Alex, wait up. Wow. Uh, what the shit is goat yoga? Yoga. With goats. Welcome to Colorado. Gabe Chen. Flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh. Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? <sighs> She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. I'd rather shoot fire from my hand, burn all my enemies to a crisp. What if you're high-fiving a friend and the fire ring goes off? Risky. <laughs> if you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping?
You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. 